right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. I'm here to uh, talk about last night's uh, Golden State Warriors game <laughs> against the Sacramento Kings already. Uh, fifth Warrior game is complete. Fifth Warrior recap of the season. So a good win uh, for the Warriors at home against Sacramento. Uh, they lost the first game of the year to Phoenix. But they've been playing a lot better since then. They've won their last four. They've won their last four. Uh, this one wasn't the previous games. Their offense looked pretty good in those other games. Like against Houston, New Orleans. Um, against the Kings in the first game, their offense looked good. But the second game, offensively, they weren't too great offensively. Um, their defense kind of carried them. I thought their defense kind of carried them in this game. The Warriors' defense, I thought, carried them. The defense, uh, by far, was the key to the game for the Warriors. Both teams, defensively, I thought were pretty well. Uh, both teams shot not great from three. The Kings shot 31.4% from three. The Warriors shot 35.5% uh, from the three-point line. The Kings shot 40.9% from the field. And the Warriors shot 48.1%. The reason the Kings got so many, so many able opportunities shooting-wise is they got a lot of offensive rebounds. Uh, 14 total offensive rebounds to the Warriors. 7, they out-rebounded the Warriors by 12 rebounds. So the Warriors definitely still got to clean some things up. Got to clean some things up. The fouling was quite an issue in this game, giving up offensive rebounds. Those are some things that need to be uh, some issue that are issues for the Warriors to fix, which is easily, easily fixable uh, for Golden State. But sometimes you got to win games ugly. You can't win every game pretty offensively. Sometimes you have to dig down deep defensively and win games like that. And that's what the Warriors did last night. Offensively, neither team was great. But sometimes you got to win games ugly. And that's what the Warriors did. Won a game ugly. Um, they got double-digit scoring. Uh, from one, two, three, four, five, about six players here. They got double-digit scoring. Um, Curry was a lean scorer, 21 points, uh, 3 assists, uh, 5 rebounds uh, from Mr. Mr. Curry. So I thought a good game from Mr. Curry. Um, 7 to 15, 4 10 from 3. He wasn't too great from 3, but he still made 4 threes. Um, Draymond Green, 13 points, 9 assists, uh, 2 rebounds. Um, he made 2 threes early on. Uh, he was uh, the. Um, or, 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 I think fourth link score. They had a lot of players in double figures in this game. Um, Wiggins had 14 points, two rebounds. Clay 14 2 to the game winner uh, for Mr. Tom. Um, Dario Sarich, uh, 15 points, six rebounds, made uh, two or three three pointers. While well, he did have a few turnovers in this game, he still hit was a clutch uh, with some big three pointers in this game. Uh, Chris Paul, eight, eight assists, four boards. Another solid game from Chris Paul off the bench. Gary Payton the second with four and two. Jonathan Kaminga with twelve points. Uh, Moody struggled only one point on a free throw. Uh, Wiggins fourteen and two. Draymond thirteen and nine. Curry with twenty one. Chris uh, Clay Thompson with fourteen. Uh, Sarge and Kaminga off the bench with some good games fifteen and twelve. So some big. Um, sometimes you gotta use that depth, and the Warriors have that depth this year. The Warriors have that depth that they desperately need. A big game for the Warriors uh, to win at home. Couldn't afford to lose this one without them having or without them having a De'Aaron Fox. Uh, for the Kings, stop. Sorry, his cat's freaking. But as for the Kings, their leading scorer is Demontis Sabonis, 23 points, eight assists, 11 rebounds. Um, Davion Mitchell with 13, 4, and 3, and replacing Fox. Uh, Harrison Barnes with 14. Keegan Murray, 10, 6, really struggled. Blake Monk with 16. Kevin Herter with 11, and 9. Uh, Chris Duarte off the bench with 2. Javier McGee, 6.6 6 rebounds. Had some uh, nice defensive plays. Uh, Vazenkov struggled. Kobe Jones looked gone off the bench. Kings had some, kept it really close and competitive. They have that depth, too, even without Fox. They have depth. So, yeah, it's really nice to save this game. So, until next time, I like a lot. Peace. Good win for the Warriors on Friday, which is tomorrow. <laughs>